Welcome everybody to the Investors Podcast 2.0, Wealth Mindset, where we dive into the minds of the successful real estate entrepreneur to uncover the tips and tricks that have allowed them to keep moving forward. I am your host, Scott Bauer, and I'm excited that you're here with us. Welcome back, everybody. It's another episode of the Investors Podcast. Of course, I am your host, Scott Bauer, and I have Stephen Nagy with us today. Now, before I tell you a little bit about who he is and why he's here, I am going to tell you we're going to talk about an exciting thing today, and that exciting thing is money. Of course, you listen to this podcast, it is the Invest This Podcast, and you know we're, we're mainly real estate based, but I tell you what, we always talk about money, and I'm excited to talk about that today with Steven. So, Steven, welcome to the call. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing well. Thank you. Good. Why don't you give the listeners a little bit more about your background and what, you know, what, what money school is and kind of uh, just give them a little intro to yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I started, you know, I, I like to think I've been an entrepreneur my whole life, although I've had a couple of jobs through the years, um, you know, to, to hold me over. But, you know, coming out of college, I, um, I pursued a path that I never thought I would enter, which was the financial world. I, I was a financial, personal financial advisor for a couple of years right out of school. And, you know, that simple experience really opened up my eyes to, you know, the world of there's so much out there, you know, not only how things should be done, but how a lot of people don't look at money. And, and, you know, I would meet with folks right out of college. I was advising them on their financial futures, how to plan for retirement. And I was a broke kid basically right out of college, right? So it was kind of strange first off with that whole dynamic. But the other part it made me realize was I was meeting with a lot of folks, you know, with families in their 40s, both working jobs, you know, trying to save for college education, save for retirement. And, you know, when you start building a plan and really looking at allowing someone to live the lifestyle that they want to now, as well as the lifestyle they picture themselves living in retirement and everything that goes along the way, um, you know, it really opened my eyes that most people aren't going to be able to accomplish that. And so I was actually invited to um, one of those free real estate seminar events that you go to some of your listeners have probably been to those before right so right. i was invited to one of those by my cousin um and uh, we decided to go we checked it out kind of made sense neither of us had any background in real estate but it made some sense so we decided to move forward with the education and we ended up going through a, a bunch of courses that they offered and we started doing some real estate started doing a couple wholesale deals learning that side of the business quickly got into a couple flips and um and basically this was 14 years ago. And that's, you know, long story short, that's been my foundation in life ever since. So about a year after attending that free seminar, I um, actually quit my financial advising job. Um, you know, I had a series seven, I had a series 66 securities licenses. I had my, uh, this was in Florida at the time. I had my Florida uh, life variable annuity insurance license, decided to let all that go as hard as it was to obtain and, and to get. But I, I just, I knew that I never wanted to go back to being in the corporate world and working for somebody. I knew my path from then forward was always going to be working for myself or I guess living terms, living life on my own terms, if that makes sense. So, uh, you know, from there, I, I just really, um, you know, dug in and really started studying the business while we were doing it, you know, learning from our mistakes, learning from what other people taught us. And I had a really cool opportunity to, um, to start traveling the country and teaching the stuff that I had learned and teaching some of these systems. So I, I decided to hop on that. I grew up in a small little town in the middle of nowhere in Virginia, in the mountains of Virginia, Southwest Virginia. And um, I moved there when I was a young kid with my mom, single mom, my little brother, little sister, a very unique upbringing and I'm not going to get into that but long story short for someone like myself to be able to go and and have an opportunity to travel all across the country um, and, and later the world it, it, it was like awesome let's do it so jumped into that and and I think that's when I really found my passion was a travel which you know I know that's a lot of people say travel but I, I really love it and I did it for almost 10 years straight almost every single week I'd hop on an airplane, I'd fly to different parts of the country, I'd work with our um, students, with our clients, with our network, and we would do mostly real estate. And you know, over time, I've been building my own real estate business, my own business, other businesses that I've now developed, and um, it's just been a beautiful thing. So, uh, you know, got married a little over five years ago, um, I now have a four-year-old son, and when my son was on his way, I said, all right, 
as much as I love traveling every week like this, it's time to cut back a little bit because I want to be there for him growing up. Mm-hmm. So um, made some little changes and have been able to adapt and, and uh, get into some different aspects of the business and, and really have been able to do some other businesses along the way that have allowed me to be home a lot more. Now, do we still travel? Absolutely. Do I still travel when I need to for business? Absolutely. Um, you know, actually, well, before three months ago, at least, right? But um, so that, you know, long story short, that, that's kind of how we got to where we are today. And, um, you know, what we're going to talk about, and, and we'll bring this up, but Money School TV, you know, founder and CEO of Money School TV is Chris Noggle. Um, you had him on your, your, uh, your podcast just a few weeks ago, I think it was last yeah. month. So you guys heard a little bit more about his story. So our stories were very similar, our paths with the financial planning background, with the real estate investing background. And that foundation has allowed us to set up and and do everything else that we've done in life. So does that kind of give you a good picture though? No, yeah, I mean, it really does. And I appreciate you sharing that. I think it's important for the listeners to understand where the guests and where the, you know, the people that are on this podcast are coming from, because everybody can relate to that a little bit, right? And, you know, the first thing I wanted to really dive into is, is or started off with i guess is is the mindset around money right so chris and the money you know money school tv it helps you to understand the mindset around money because a lot of money is mindset right there is an abundance of money around us there's no shortage a matter of fact here in the u.s we just keep printing more so you know there's just no, (laughs) no shortage of money out there but a lot of people feel that there is or they feel that there's a lack somewhere and so you don't, you can't ever get your money right until you get your mind right. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. you know, why don't you touch on that for just a second? You know, going from the experience you've had as a financial advisor, starting up some real estate businesses, traveling the country, going through that, that, that life experience you've got to, what has that taught you about the mindset of money? Well, a lot really. And what I mean by that is, is, everybody's different. I mean, you're going to meet people that are out there gambling in Vegas and, and gambling away their life savings. And they're willing to go for it no matter what. You have people that are a lot more conserved that, you know, I could give them a basically risk-free investment that's going to double their money and they'd say no to it. And so, and you have every, everybody in between. And so it's really, you know, the person's mindset. And, but for those, you know, so it's almost one of those things, it's almost like anything in life with the proper education, it overcomes a lot of the different fears that are holding you back, right? So what I found is the people that are very tight and they don't want to let their money go no matter what, there's a reason for that. So something in their past caused that, whether that was their upbringing, whether they got burnt in the past, whether they took a risk in the past and then lost it all and they're scared for that to happen again. I found that really makes a big difference. And by educating and learning, you can overcome a lot of that. And I'll give you one example, um, Scott, of, of just something that's happened for me is when I was going out and when I first started raising money, and this was a few years back when I started getting into the more of the side of um, private investments and raising private capital for different deals and things like that. One of the areas that I found um, that was a huge opportunity were people's retirement accounts. And, and what I mean by that is a lot of people don't realize this, but you can use a retirement account to invest in things outside of the stock market, outside of your traditional investments. Yes. And one of those things you can use, and these are self-directed retirement accounts, and so we could talk about that. But um, what I found is when I first started talking to people about that, they just didn't realize it. You know, So just to give you an example, there's trillions of dollars out there in the United States that are in retirement accounts, in IRAs, in um, 401ks. And less than 4% of all IRAs in this country are self-directed. And when I went out there and I started talking to people about self-directed IRAs and using their retirement money to invest in things like real estate, they just didn't know that it existed. They didn't know that it was possible. They'd go and they'd ask their financial planner about it and their financial planner would say, oh, no, you can't do that. And and there's a whole other reason why that happens. But it's just they just didn't know. So once I finally started to explain to them a little bit more you know, there's a reason why 97% of wealth is controlled by 3% of people. Why, you know, five out of um, 95 out of every 100 people are going to not be able to retire the way they want to. There's reasons for that. A lot of it's just education. So it's constantly being able to learn new things. It's constantly having that open mind to say, Hey, this guy's been very, very successful. How did he do it? And that's the biggest thing that I've found is just, 
getting out there and educating, not for yourself, but also be able to relay that message, be able to teach other people and be able to open other people's minds. It's huge. Absolutely. You know, one of the reasons and one of the things I like to do on this podcast is try to educate people out there, you know, try to share what I know and share, you know, information with having guests like yourself on here, because the best way you learn is by teaching, right? Um, I was going somewhere with that. Oh, the majority of the people, you know, that listen to the podcast are investors, have bought real estate, have owned real estate, are currently flipping, they own it, they rental portfolios, syndicators, commercial, whatever it might be, right? Where can these, so, and, and you just said that there's an untapped potential of self-directed money out there that, it, you know, that, that people haven't, haven't touched yet, that is sitting there like dead money that could be used at, to, to fund our deals. Where does somebody go to learn about that? How does somebody go and figure out, okay, who do I need to go target? I understand that there's self-directed accounts out there, or there's, there's retirement accounts like a 401k or an IRA, right? But how does somebody go find it? How does somebody go find that person that has it? And how do you approach them? Are there systems? Are there places? Are there, uh, you know, I don't know if you're affiliated with a company or something where you could point the listeners in the, in the right direction to be able to go and educate themselves on how these uh, directed, self-directed accounts might work. Do you have yeah. anything like that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and, you know, there's kind of two parts to that question. So, you know, the education, how they work, how to be able to learn about them. I mean, and this is kind of my cautionary tale right here. So when, when, you know, coronavirus hit and we all got locked in, um, you know, all of us started going online to figure out how can we bring our business online? How can we, you know, reach more people that way? And, you know, I can tell you more about why Money School TV, MSTV was created. And that's exactly why. I mean, it's only three months old now, even though we got years worth of already knowledge in there. It's unbelievable, as we were talking about earlier. But, um, you know, more importantly than that is what I've seen online is all of a sudden there's, 50 to 100 new experts popping up on Facebook ads every single day claiming they're the biggest real estate investor in the world, or they have all the secret magic pills, or they have the secret ingredient that's needed. And, you know, just to say it as it is, most of these people are fakes. Most of them may be done a deal or two or may, and I'm not going to talk any, you know, it, you know, but be careful who you're listening to. Be careful who you're taking advice from because, you know, through my 14 years of being in this business, you know, especially starting out, even learning from people and following what I was taught, you still make a lot of mistakes. And that's some of the most invaluable information is those mistakes you make. So you don't want to go out there and listen to somebody that's new in the business that's teaching you the wrong stuff. You want to get it right from the beginning. So first off, be careful who you're learning from. But, you know, beyond that, um, you know, self-directed IRAs, you can learn about them. You know, you can YouTube it. You know, Money School TV has a seven part series that teaches every single aspect on them. And we do have affiliations, um, you know, with a really, really strong, in my opinion, the best in the country, um, self-directed uh, uh, company out there. So, you know, that's part of what MSTV is also is it's a network. So it's everybody we use in our businesses that Chris uses, that I use, that all of our other network, we brought all these people together. So you have access to all these resources. So, you know, you're learning from legitimate people because we use them every single day in our, you know, very, very successful businesses. So, um, you know, that's one aspect is learning, but, and that's great for you because you'll know how to use it, but then how do you go out there and you start, you know, introducing it to other people. And that's just what real estate, that's what business, that's what entrepreneurship is all about. And that's relationships, right? So that's building relationships. So in normal times, that's networking, that's going to your local uh, real estate investment association meetings, that's going to your local meetup groups, that's going to these different types of seminars that are out there to meet new people. Um, it's getting on these podcasts. It's, it's joining different online networking groups, especially right now with everything online. I mean, so part of MSTV, and you know this, Scott, because you're on there, part of his MSTV is, um, is access to a private Facebook group. So all of our network is in that Facebook group. So just as an example, hey, I was thinking about opening up a self-directed IRA. I just want to know what's the best. Should I do a traditional? Should I do a Roth? Should I do a SEP or should I do a solo K? Should I roll the money over? You know, what should I do with it and how should I do it? Post that question on there. 
one of the money school mentors, someone like myself with either assist or someone from the company that we all use is also on their monitoring. So they're going to hop on, answer your question. Hey, let's hop on the phone real fast and let's talk this through. So, you know, it's, it's being able to get it, get access to that network, get access to education that is legitimate and works. And then it's just building those relationships. I mean, I, I sit aside one day a week where I literally just hop on the phone basically all day and I just call my network, call contacts from the past, call my relationships, keep that stuff strong. And that's how you're going to start growing. And, and, you know, we talking about self-directed IRAs for, for places to find money, but there's so much money out there too. That's just sitting out there. You know, Chris calls it lazy, hidden equity, lazy money, whatever you want to call it. But there's so much about out there. I mean, just one example is a HELOC, you know, a simple home equity line of credit. It's very, it's one of those very, basic concepts for most real estate investors or most, most people that raise money, but for your, your average everyday person that's out there in the world, working a normal job or just investing in a 401k and doesn't really follow this stuff regularly, they forget there's a lot of money sitting in your home right now. You know, and that's money. It's lazy. It's literally money that's just available. That's doing nothing for you. So the biggest thing is just, you know, learning where the money is, understanding it so you can go out there and you can talk to people about it. It's just a simple conversation. Hey, you know, Hey Scott, how, how is, you know, have you ever thought about, um, you know, putting some of your lazy money to work? What are you talking about lazy money? You know, I, I can barely pay my bills right now. Well, you own your home, right? You know, you've owned it for five, six years now. Let's think maybe there's a little equity in there or, you know, you have a savings account, you know, and we could talk about money multiplier and we do a lot of the infinite banking space. That's, you know, putting your money to work for you in all kinds of different ways. And, you know, I could go on and on, but that's the biggest thing, just building those relationships and just talking. Well, so, I mean, that what you're talking about, these different areas to put your money, these different areas, you know, these are all the, the logistics and the nuts and bolts about how to do this. And I think everybody who's listening to this call is going to, is thinking right now, well, where do I find this? How do I know what these different tools are? Do I go to a financial advisor? Do I want to go ask him for it? Probably not. Why? Well, because the financial advisor has one goal and he's, his goal is to sell you something where he makes a commission. Now, you might, have, you might have a fiduciary advisor, which for those of you out there that don't know what that is, that is a, an advisor that by law must do what's in your best interest as a consumer. And they take a percentage of your portfolio. That's how they get paid. So if you don't do well, they don't do well, right? Very different than a financial advisor. Um, and I would say that's a whole nother conversation for later. But what I'm trying to get to the listeners is that what Money School offers is the, is the and I'm, you know, as I'm saying this, it sounds like I'm really, I'm really selling money school, which I'm not. And I am at the same time. I think it's a great place for people to go. It's a big resource. You have everything available, everything you just said, right? It, it really, it really is. And you know, um, it's, it's 19 bucks a month. So it's, you know, it's, Essentially, we're giving it away. I mean, right. for everything that you have access to. And, it's, and again, it's not just the education, but it's actually access to these companies. So just as an example, um, the company that we use for self-directed IRAs, a company called Horizon Trust. So a typical IRA set up for them to do a consultation with you, figure out what the best type of account to open, get on the phone with wherever the money is now or help you with the transfer to move it over from your advisor, from your brokerage account, from an old 401k um, to get you the online access to the portal and get you all the training associated to teach you how to use it. They charge 350 bucks an account for that, right? Because of our relationship through money school TV, all of our members get those can get open a traditional and a Roth account completely free of charge. So it's 700 bucks in savings right there just by being a member, just one example. Right. right. And so, um, you know, so there's so many benefits and, and again, it's all relationships because we know eventually that's going to be able to, you know, help us it's help our members, which is going to make our members more happy with what they're receiving and, and they're going to want to spread the word and it's going to grow. So these little relationships we've taken 10, 15 years to build, we just pass all this, you know, value onto our members. So it, it, it's really incredible. I mean, what else do they get out of, I mean, th th you've already explained a lot of what uh, uh, a member will get, but what else do they get out of joining money school and what uh, is it, is it actual school? Do I have, do I have homework assignments? Do I have to read books? Do I have any of that stuff? I mean, what, walk, walk us through what money school TV really is and what it entails. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that's a great question. So again, we were, um, you know, Chris launched a, uh, 
you know, a live training event company at the beginning of 2020. So him and I were traveling the country. We started in January with a couple of February. Uh, we were traveling around the country. We had lined up. We had Phoenix um, uh, uh, coming up here very soon. We had a couple locations in Texas. We were going up through Ohio, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, um, all through Florida. So we had, um, you know, had already started and, and doing these live events. And then we were in Orlando in the middle of March when basically the whole country shut down. Right. So midway through our event, we literally closed it down and said, we've rescheduled everyone that was registered. We had hundreds of people registered to come see us. We said, we can't do it because the country's closing down. So we flew home on a Saturday night um, I talked to Chris on Sunday and he said, dude, we got to continue spreading what we're doing because it's so important. Again, a lot of real estate education out there, a lot of separate training out there, but bringing the money aspect and how money really works and taking back control of your money, using real estate as a foundation, but taking back control of your money is just so valuable. So how do we get that out there? So that's when we launched MSTV, Money School TV. So we said, okay, so let's get this training in front of people. So this is hands-on. I mean, this is stuff we've just created the last few months, bringing in, you know, all of our multi-million dollar contacts from all over the country, investors, gurus, they're all on here teaching their specialties, whatever they're an expert in. So we got things on cannabis investing, on gold investing, on um, crypto investing. And because once you have a self-directed IRA, then what do you do with your money, right? So right. all these are all different areas you can invest in, not only with retirement accounts, but for anything. Um, you know, private placement investing multi-family uh, private funds, things like that, right? So all this is on there. But then we said, okay, well, people are going to watch this, but then what if they have questions? So we found three ways that we're able to help our members on, an, on a regular basis. So the first one is all of our members have access to book calls. Right now, all those calls are coming to me. So if you're watching a video, um, you know, on any of these subjects and you just say, oh, I just have a quick question on something you guys said in that. You go on there, you schedule a call um, for any day, Monday through Friday. Um, I call you at the time that you scheduled and we talk for 30 minutes. We walk through it. We figure it out. Um, if there's any kind of resources or tools you need, you know, I'll send that stuff to you via email. Um, so you have access to phones. You can, uh, you also get access, I mentioned uh, previously, to a private Facebook group. So you can get on there, post your questions, post what your business is. We have people on there posting their wholesale deals right now because there's other people that are looking for them, right? So we're right. developing a really cool community on our private Facebook page. And then um, one of the most powerful things we're doing is once a month, we are doing a two-hour group training conference virtual Zoom training call. Okay, so this uh, and this is done once a month, and it's uh, third Thursday of every month. So we're actually doing it. We're recording this on a Thursday, Scott. So we're actually doing ours tonight. It's six to eight p.m. Eastern time um, every third week of the month. So it's myself, Chris, and then we're bringing on a couple other gurus as well. So tonight we have coming on with us um, uh, Chris Rude, who's uh, you know a very large wholesaler out of New, New Orleans area. I'm sure, a lot of your listeners have probably heard of Chris. And then uh, we have Jack Petrick coming on, who's a very large multifamily private investment uh, fundraiser. So this, this month, we decided to make it all about real estate. So we have these guys coming on. And so what happens is these two hours, there's no set agenda. There's no set schedule. It's literally just us four on there, along with all of our members answering questions. So a member raises their hand or types it in, whatever their question is, they ask it. And then we all respond and give them the responses. So we've been prepping all of our members. Hey, this is all about real estate this month get on there get your real estate questions make sure you watch the mstv episodes that are leading up to this so you know what questions to ask and then get on there and let's do it so that that's huge and we did um we did our first group training last month and it was it was i mean the feedback we got from it was uh, amazing so um you know that's a really big part again so for 19 bucks you get all that it's really amazing you know, Stephen, I think one of the biggest things that w what attracted me originally to Money School TV is the fact that they don't teach this in, in school, right? They don't teach, they don't really teach anything about money at all. Be and I have, an agenda, you know, thoughts on why they don't do that, but you don't learn it. I mean, people don't understand how, how money works on even how to balance a checkbook anymore, right? I mean, there's so many different ways that you can use money to work for you that can set you free can set you free right that is why i think it's phenomenal this program that he's put together and the affordability for anybody i mean think about that 19 bucks a month for all you listeners out there 19 dollars a month you spent at least a quarter of that on your coffee this morning so you know i mean that's nothing right um right 
I'm just like, yeah, I can't. No, absolutely. And, and what you're saying about, you know, they don't teach this stuff in school and there's, there's so many different ways to, to raise money, to create wealth, to have your wealth grow, to protect wealth. And, and that's all great. But, you know, Again, I've been doing this for 14 years. I've traveled all around. I've worked with some of the some of the biggest name gurus, trainers, coaches out there you could think of, right? And even myself, like I, I and and I've learned, and I always have the mindset of I can always learn more. And even just last year, for the first time, I was introduced to um, the money multiplier, which is the concept of infinite banking, and it blew my mind. Like I never knew there was a way to go out there and and have a guaranteed guaranteed return on my money, uninterrupted compounding interest every single year for the rest of my life, even when I'm using that money. So I can use this money in this fall to go out there in my banking system, to go out there and invest in real estate. And while I'm using that money, it's still growing uninterrupted compounding interest for me. I mean, it's just, it, it's crazy. So there's so much out there to learn so little time, so little bandwidth that we can all learn it. But that's what's one of the nice things. We have all this now in one area. So you can go on if, if you know, for the next month, I want to just learn about real estate, go on and watch the real estate section. All right, I got an idea. But now that I know a little bit about real estate, I want to learn more about how do I raise the money? Okay, let me go in and learn about that section. So we have a broken down in these sections. And it's just, you know, again, I didn't want to come on here and just kind of sound like a pitch, like a sales pitch for MSTV. But the more I'm talking about it now, it's like, we really have brought it all into one area and just the resource to network. It's really cool. So you're still well, on. Steven, I mean, like, I know it's not, I didn't bring you on to pitch either, but the reality is, is that it is very cool. I just, full transparency to all the listeners out there, I just signed up for Money School TV, um, and I haven't started to go through it, but I saw all the content that's on there. I'm excited to learn about it. I think you're right. You, there's so much information there that it's going to take time to digest, but what I liked about it was that you could jump around. You didn't have to go, you know, there's not one curriculum where you go start, start at A and end at Z. You can jump around to where you want to learn, and that is super powerful, right? For anybody out there, we're all in a. Everybody's busy, right? Everybody has stuff to do. Everybody doesn't have enough time in the day, especially with all this technology, right? There's not enough time in the day to learn everything, but you can pick what you want to learn, focus on that, go at your own pace, etc. And I think it's great. Um, so, anyways, yeah, I mean, I wanted to have you on here today, Stephen, and talk about money. I think we have done that. I think we've really got people excited about the concept of money and what they can do and to learn more and to make sure that they educate themselves. We've given them a, a way to do that by joining money school if they want to, or they could go and learn it on their own if they want as well. Right. But the most important part is that they, they do learn. Um, for sake of time, do you have any last comments or remarks here? Yeah. I mean, just, you know, just to kind of recap it, so to say, you know, build the relationships, get educated, learn what you're doing. And then, you know, if I could give you two places to start on MSTV, I would start with learning about uninterrupted compounding interest through the money multiplier method. Um, just the power of that alone is unbelievable. And then that used in conjunction with a self-directed Roth IRA, those two things alone are going to completely change your financial future. I mean, the power of the power of tax-free growth, which is what a Roth IRA is, okay? A Roth IRA is putting money in today, putting in, let's say you put in $50,000, that money grows to be a million dollars over the next 20, 30 years. You're going to pull out $950,000 of that money and you'll never pay taxes on any of that $950,000. So when you start running calculations and looking at the power of um, tax-free growth, it's, it's, it's really, truly unbelievable. And then you couple that with your the rest of your money working twofold with guaranteed uninterrupted compounding interest, along with everything else you're going to learn and be able to do. I mean, the, the, the sky's the limit. And, you know, that, that's, I mean, that, that's definitely where I would start for sure. Dude, I, I mean, it just gets me excited, kind of gets my, you know, gets my stomach excited when I think about that, because it's just, it's like, it's out there, it's attainable for everybody. And now that you have access to the information, it's your fault why you're not doing it. Right. Right. That's it. That's it. So um, anyways, appreciate you being here. Are you ready for a quick lightning round? May I ask you a couple of quick questions? <laughs> sure. Let's go. All right. All right. Question number one is, how, do, how important do you feel your mindset is on being uh, successful, not only in business, but also your life? Well, it's everything, really, right? I mean, um, great example is right now with, with coronavirus and lockdown and everything's changed and everything, you know, again, we, we, we set out the beginning of this year with a, a plan that took us 
almost an entire year to create, um, you know, programs and systems to, to, to put this into place starting this year, launched it, started going and just boom, nothing out, you know, everything out of our control, shut it down. So what do you do? Do you quit? Do you stop? Or do you get the mindset of let's pivot? You know, I mean, I've gone through it before in the last 14 years. So it's not going to be the first, it's not going to be the last. So you got to keep that mindset. So it's not only, you know, understanding, all right, the world's not over. Let's just pivot and change. But it's also, let's stay positive. I mean, you know, for a while there, I was barely leaving the house. So, so you know, something that I just want to say that's really helped me a lot um, personally is, is exercise. So um, to me, it, it, it's, it, it's everything. So it keeps your mind right. I really think it, it helps burn off negative energy. Yeah. Um, it keeps you healthy, which is very important right now with immune system and everything, especially to fight all these, these, these viruses. And, you know, and even once we do get back out there, there's still other colds and things. So yeah. your immune system, everything. So keep healthy. Um, but for me, it's, um, for me, it, it's more than that. It, it's, it's a mental challenge. So, you know, mindset it's easy to fall off and it's easy to kind of get into different ruts or bad habits and things. But for me, um, you know, running, I, I absolutely hate running. Like it, it's, it's hard. Like I don't like doing it, but I run because of that reason. You know, I, I say, you know, I go out there and I'll, I'll go for a jog, you know, even if it's only four or five miles, but I'll get to mile three and I'll be like, no way. Like I, I, I can't keep going. And right when I want to quit is when I'm like, all right, now I'm going to make myself run another mile. And I feel like that mental attitude just go carries over into everything else. So, you know, it's so important. I, um, just two more seconds. I, I in January, um, I kind of got challenged a few months back in like September by some friends to run a marathon and, you know, and I've never done it. So never done anything like that. Never even ran a 5k, never ran an organized race. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. So I started doing some training, but I was still traveling some getting ready to launch a different business. And so I didn't have a whole lot of time, but 26 point, you know, two miles, I said, all right. So my training leading up to it, the most I ran was 10 miles. So you're supposed to run almost basically a couple full marathons. So I said, I'm just going to mentally do it. I'm going to mentally make myself. So I went out there and I finished it in four hours and 20, um, 22 minutes, which is uh, about an average time for my age. So, um, you know, I, I got through it and, and I do, I, I do lead back. To, and the reason I tell that is because I really truly believe it's mental. It, it, it's just having that mindset that you can do it, you can achieve it and then taking action because I can't tell you how many super, super intelligent, smart people I know that kind of just average through life, right? Average through life because they never go for it. They never take action on, on what they know. So it's, it's, it's having that mindset of wanting to learn, knowing you can do it. And then also saying, all right, now that I'm ready, let's, let's do it and make it happen. And just not quitting, just not quitting no matter what, go, go, go until you make it. So. Steven, that was a long winded way of saying that mindset. <laughs> I mean, no, but I appreciate you sharing that. Everybody can relate to that. And uh, did I mention I've been locked in my house for a few months? So like I haven't got to dodge. <laughs> That's why I keep telling our MSTV members. I say, please schedule calls with me because I, I miss people. I miss going out to events and to networking events. And so let's hop on the phone. You know, so it's, it's good. That's great. Next question is, what is the last book that you read and what would you get from it? What'd you take from it? Oh, um, I just am finishing up now N Nelson Nash's uh, Becoming Your Own Banker. So like I said, I've, um, I've really been digging into the infinite banking and the, the money multiplier method. So uh, just finishing up that book now and it's just, um, wow, I mean, what I took from it is just there's a whole nother world out there. Right. There's, there's levels to life, right? Levels to life. There's levels to investors. There's levels to wealth. It just opens up a whole nother level. It's amazing. And once you, once you start to learn it, you can't unlearn it. Right. And so that's the great right. Thing. <laughs> that's that's the great part. Yeah. Um, what are you, what are you trying to learn right now? Um, well, I just, I just relicensed myself in life insurance. Um, okay. so I can actually um, process these policies for, for our members and for our clients. Um, so again, I let all my licenses go 14 years ago, but, um, just went through and took all the online courses uh, sitting in the house because I said, you know, I want to continue improving myself during this time. And one thing that, that Chris and, and money school really needed help with was somebody else that could write these policies for our clients. So, um, to help Chris with that, I said, all right, I'll, I'll get licensed. So, um, just finished that up last week. So I've been concentrating, concentrating on that the last few weeks. Awesome. Well, that's a big, um, that's a big hurdle to jump over. Congratulations on getting that again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, another yeah. tool in your tool belt. That's for sure. Um, <clears throat> give a superpower. And what, what is it? How does it affect you? <laughs> Superpower. 
Um, just, you know, I love people. So I love being able to connect with people. I love being able to share messages. Um, I've never wanted to be the face of a company. So, you know, I, I got my nice background here. This is from our events. I threw it up. So it would be a nice background for these Zooms and things. But, you know, Chris, um, had a TV show on HDTV. He's been the face of a company. He's, we have a national infomercial coming out later this year. Uh, he's all over the internet, all over advertisements, marketing, everything. I've never wanted to do that. I like being behind the scenes. And yeah. I found him very, very good at being able to find, um, you know, a message that Chris delivers and be able to put that into a little package that's easy for, for almost anybody to understand. And, you know, coming from a, a very humble upbringing and, and seeing both sides of the fence of not having anything in life to having a lot in life. And, you know, I, I just, I feel like my unique ability has been able to, to, to explain complicated subjects and complicated topics and make it easy for anybody to understand. And I think that's a big reason why a lot of the training, a lot of stuff that I've done has had a lot of success because it's just being able to show how every day normal people, even with no experience or no background in any of this stuff, how you can learn and you can implement it right away to change your life. So I feel like that's been a, a, a big part of what's helped me. Amen to that, man. Amen to that. And um, yeah, I think everybody has their unique ability, right? And that's why I want to know what is your superpower. And I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. And, and now just a big part too is, you know, part two of that is just being a great dad. So I just want to be there for my son. You know, he's almost five years old now. And it's just so coaching, you know, I coach his t-ball team and it's just, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Awesome. Congrats on that as well. Yeah. How can the listeners find you and reach you if they want to learn more about you, if they want to get involved with money school? Uh, I know we just had Chris on here a couple episodes ago, but if they want to schedule a call with you, where, where can they find you at? Yeah, absolutely. So you're, um, you'll have a link on here. Is that right? Yep. Where people can go. So it's, um, uh, it's the money school TV page. I would go there to check out money school TV. Uh, at the bottom of that page, there is a calendar link um, to book a call with me. So if you do have questions about Money School TV, whether it's right for you or not, whether it might be a good fit for you or not, um, you know, whether you just want to talk through your situation, um, you can hop on that page and actually schedule a call directly with me. And then, of course, um, you know, we're all over social media, Chris Noggle, Stephen Nagy, you know, Facebook and all that good stuff. So Awesome. Well, we'll make sure to definitely add in that in the show notes. So for all you listeners that are listening in, um, if you're in the car, uh, make sure to go when you get out of the car look at the show notes it'll be right on your phone you'll be able to click on it you'll be able to register whatever you need to do right from your phone and of course if you have stuck with us up to this point that means you enjoyed the show and make sure to share it with your friends family subscribe to the investors podcast because you know what the, the whole goal of this is to spread the word and to tell everybody about it this is real information that you can use that will help and benefit your life not mine so Make sure to share it with everybody that you know. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, Stephen, thank you for being here today. We shared a lot. We really did. Absolutely. Yeah, great talking to you, Scott. All right, we'll talk to you real soon. Thank you. Have a great one. See you too.